What a lovely day everyone! Did you know that an organ system is a biological system consisting of a group of organs that work together to perform one or more functions? And out of the nine major organ systems we have in the human body, we will discuss about the endocrine system. So what is endocrine system? The endocrine system is made up of glands that make hormones. Hormones are the body's chemical messengers. They carry information and instructions from one set of cells to another. The endocrine system is a messenger system comprising feedback loops of the hormones released by internal glands of an organism directly into the circulatory system, regulating distant target organs. In vertebrates, the hypothalamus is the neural control center for all endocrine systems. Going further, what does the endocrine system do? glands release hormones into the bloodstream. This lets the hormones travel to cells in other parts of the body. The endocrine hormones help control mood, growth and development, the way our organs work, metabolism, and reproduction. What about the parts of endocrine system? Well, many parts of the body make hormones. The major glands that make up the endocrine system are the hypothalamus. It regulates hunger, thirst, sleep, and wakefulness plus most of your involuntary mechanisms, including body temperature. Pituitary gland controls all the other endocrine glands, influence growth, metabolism, and regeneration. Thyroid glands, it regulates your energy and your metabolism. Parathyroid glands, secretes the hormones necessary for calcium absorption. Adrenal glands, secretes hundreds of compounds including cortisol and adrenaline which helps you react to emergencies. Regulates your metabolic processes in the cell, water, balance, blood pressure, and etc. Pineal gland is responsible for the production of melatonin, which plays a major role in the body's sleep-wake cycle. Ovaries or testes is the male and female reproductive organs, release hormones responsible for blood circulation, mental vigor, and sex drive. The pancreas is part of the endocrine system and the digestive system. That's because it secretes hormones into the bloodstream and makes and secretes enzymes into the digestive tract. Endocrine system, like other organ systems, also have possible diseases. Your endocrine system includes eight major glands throughout your body, such as the thyroid gland, pituitary gland, adrenal gland, and pancreas. This system affects growth and development, metabolism, sexual function, and mood. Your hormone levels are too high or too low, you may have an endocrine disease or disorder. Endocrine diseases and disorders also occur if your body doesn't respond to hormones the way it is supposed to. The first possible disease that might occur in the endocrine system is the adrenal insufficiency and Addison's disease. Adrenal insufficiency, including Addison's disease, is a disorder that occurs when the adrenal glands don't make enough of certain hormones. This includes cortisol, sometimes called the stress hormone, which is essential for life. The most common symptoms of this disease are fatigue, muscle weakness, loss of appetite, weight loss, and abdominal pain. Adrenal insufficiency can be caused by autoimmune disease or suddenly stopping steroid medicines used to treat other conditions among the other causes. Another disease is the hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism, also called alternative thyroid, is when the thyroid gland doesn't make enough thyroid hormones to meet your body's needs. The thyroid is a small, butterfly-shaped gland in the front of your neck. Thyroid hormones control the way your body uses energy, so they affect nearly every organ in your body, even the way your heart beats. Without enough thyroid hormones, many of your body's functions slow down. Furthermore, what are the symptoms of hypothyroidism? Lastly, the hyperthyroidism, also called overactive thyroid, is when the thyroid gland makes more thyroid hormones than your body needs. The thyroid is a small, butterfly-shaped gland in the front of your neck. Thyroid hormones control the way the body uses energy, so they affect nearby every organ in your body. 
even the way your heart beats. With too much thyroid hormone, many of your body's functions speed up. So what are the symptoms of hyperthyroidism? First, we have weight loss despite an increased appetite. Rapid or irregular heartbeat, nervousness, irritability, trouble sleeping, and fatigue, shaky hands, and muscle weakness. What causes hyperthyroidism? Hyperthyroidism has several causes including Graves disease Overactive thyroid nodules Inflammation of the thyroid gland called thyroiditis Too much iodine, NIH external link Too much thyroid hormone If you have an endocrine disorder, your doctor will refer you to a specialist called an endocrinologist An endocrinologist is specially trained in problems with the endocrine system Endocrinologists are doctors who specialize in glands and the hormones they make. They deal with metabolism or all the biochemical processes that make your body work, including how your body changes food into energy and how it grows. They make work with adults or kids. When they specialize in treating children, they are called pediatric endocrinologists. For endocrine diseases treatments, including hormone therapy, you take supplements to restore levels of certain hormones. This treatment may be right for you if you have abnormally low hormone levels. Hormone therapy also includes personalized insulin treatments for diabetes. Second is the medications. We may prescribe medications to help your body stop from producing certain hormones or produce them at a slower rate. Medications can also help you get relief from the side effects of endocrine disease, including nausea and high blood pressure. And third, surgery. You may need the procedure if you suspect cancer or if other endocrine disease treatments are not successful. Doctors with advanced fellowship training who excel in performing precise surgical procedures. Eventually, how does the system work together with other systems of the, the endocrine system works with the nervous system and the immune system to help the body cope with different events and stresses. The glands of the endocrine system secrete hormones into the bloodstream to maintain homeostasis and regulate metabolism. The hypothalamus and the pituitary gland are the command and control centers directing hormones to other glands and throughout the body. The endocrine system works together with the nervous system to influence many aspects of human behavior including growth, reproduction, and metabolism. And the endocrine system plays a vital role in emotion. The endocrine system is the system of glands that secrete hormones directly into the bloodstream. Once in the blood, endocrine hormones circulate to cells everywhere in the body. The endocrine system itself is under control of the nervous system via a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. The nervous and endocrine system works together to control the body and maintain homeostasis. The nervous system controls the communication of all the other systems of the body by sending messages through impulse. So this concludes the focus of discussion today. To end, I'd like to highlight its parts and functions, possible diseases acquired, therapy and treatments, and how does the system works together with the other systems of the body. If you would like more information, here is a list of useful resources or website. And that brings us to the end. I sincerely appreciate your time and attention. Again, we are the Group 6 of Grade 11 ABM 4.